is scheduled for one ball. Coming down the aisle from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, weighing 282 pounds, Iron Mike Sharp. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Suplex. Nice. Nailed it. What a stop. Good grief. Oh, close line. Uh -oh. oh, my goodness. Crushing it. His shoulders are down. Carmella pops the shoulder up. As a former dancer and cheerleader, you know Carmella's going to be light on her feet out there. Set it up. Gals, Carmella may be in a bad way here. But he's very aware of who he's in there with oh, and man. what he has to do to rebound. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. Ouch. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. That's how you wear down your opponent. Torture your opponent's neck. I like it. One thing nobody could ever take away from Carmella is that she will forever be known as the first ever female to win a Money in the Bank ladder match. She's definitely etched her name in the history books, but Michael, let's not forget that her victory didn't come without its fair share of controversy. Too quick for him there. Leave it to Saxton to call Carmella's Money in the Bank victory controversial. Of course, you also failed to mention Carmella backed that win up with a second Money in the Bank ladder match victory just days later. 
I definitely give Carmella credit for that one, Corey, but I can't justify the first victory. Not when it was James Ellsworth who actually climbed the ladder and grabbed the briefcase. Oh, what impact! Here's the cover. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Too early in the match to end it. Wait a minute. What's he going to do with it? Backbreaker flawlessly executed. Carmella is being shown the ropes here tonight, folks. What could she do to get out of there? He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. If he wants to win this thing, he's going to need to make some changes here. There's no way he can stay in this match if he doesn't find a way to fend off this attack. Carmella with a nice reversal. you got to believe this one's over. Going for the cover. Digging deep for a kick out. Too soon. The Princess of Staten Island has always been known for her unique brand of offense. But the Code of Silence takes that idea to a totally different level. Ooh! He stumbled and this could be all she wrote. This just ain't gonna do it. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. The Moonwalk and Bronco Buster just got Carmella warmed up by forcing her opponents to tap out from the pain caused by the horrific Code of Silence submission. The Code of Silence sends excruciating pain through an opponent's neck and back where it's difficult for them to move, let alone breathe properly. The superstar should do the smart thing and submit before a serious injury occurs. When this guy's on, look out. Drop kick! It's the mark. Carmella wants to put this away. A lot of damage taken on by Carmella. I'm not sure how this will pan out. I wouldn't be surprised if he just passes out right here. WWE.com poll had him as the overwhelming favorite leading into this match, but he's definitely not looking like the favorite so much right now. Well, on the plus side... Oh, what a really great swinging neck breaker. Here's his moment, Michael. He goes for the cover. The singles match has come to an end. Wow. Let's look back on the action from the last match. Check him out here. 